Bridge Ball. Now, it happens to us all at some point. Someone tells you to carry a gold ball across a rickety platform while others pelt you with footballs. To quaint Saint Bono himself, today, thank God it's them instead of you. Our first contestant receives the gold ball, his precious. Of course, it doesn't make him invisible. We can see him only too well, and we can see he's got the wobbles, like your mum on a third white wine spritzer. But he's a fighter. He won't let go. Just like your mum with a third white wine spritzer. Let's come back to him later. We have another contestant ready to go, and he looks pumped, which is appropriate for a game involving balls. And he's going to try the ball under the jumper routine. An old trick, but a new tactic on bridge ball. Most contestants stick to the conventional upright method of crossing the bridge, gold ball in hand, straight out of the manual, but not this guy. This guy is a free-thinking cookie from the tin-marked Mad Biscuits. He's a maverick bridge baller who does it his way on the highway. Sure, he's there to be fired at, literally, but who's to say he's wrong? Well, looking at that, most of us. That means another change in tactics. He's now trying the pregnant sloth method, which isn't easy, even for pregnant sloths. He could drop any minute. Oh, and he does. Time for the boss, not Bruce Springsteen, although I'm sure Bruce could turn bridge ball into an epic 10-minute rock and roll classic, probably involving someone called Wendy in a closed-down factory. Just an idea, Bruce, if you're watching, which I'm sure you are. Now, if you thought the last guy was unconventional, take a look at this technique. Scraping along on his backside, dog with worm style. Now, that's got to hurt. I hope he has a good friend who can pick out the splinters afterwards. He's in big trouble. Just like a Steven Seagal movie, the end can't come soon enough. The boss is sacked. Clear your desk. We're still waiting for our first successful crossing, and this is an interesting choice of footwear. He's avoided the cliché of the sports trainer and opted instead for a pair of gentlemen's brown suede boots. Nicely laced with a tight double bow. But fashionistas among you take note. Suede shoes, swaying bridge, not a good combo. Next up is Boy. Now, see what you think, but I reckon the guy firing the footballs here is a trained hitman. Or woman or possibly an ex-partner with a grudge. Because just look at the accuracy of those shots. That's two on the head already. Oh, and one right in the penalty area. That wasn't so good, but another headshot and boom! Boy is down like a dropped mic. Let's go back to the guy we saw at the beginning. He's back on his feet. Just, and he has another golden ball. Correction, had another golden ball. But he's proving harder to remove than a tramp stamp. He's crawled in the last few yards on his hands and knees like the end of a good night out. Good work, fella. 